Yeah, that's right, guys. And uh, unless a special session is called, legislative action to prevent prisoner injury during transport is going to have to wait until January, although lawmakers told me it is a priority on their list. Richard Cox is now paralyzed. I was stunned. It was really, uh, really disturbing to see. State Senate President Martin Looney told Fox 61 the incident is sparking legislative discussion about possibly standardizing police transport protocols statewide. It really is crying out for a uniform policy here. Right now, policies are set by each department. Windsor Locks doesn't have transport vans. Instead, cuffing suspects and placing them in the back of their SUVs. Well, the prisoner is contained in a very small area, and that's good for all of us. Uh, he doesn't, he or she doesn't bounce around very much. They're contained, uh, unlike a van. The SUVs are outfitted with hard shell seats, plexiglass dividers, window guards. Them from kicking out the windows, which has happened in the past. And yes, seat belts. We do have seatbelt restraint that the officer will put on. The Connecticut State Police also don't have transport vans, and they are only able to transport one suspect at a time. We don't have cages in our car like some of the local agencies do. So instead, the suspects they arrest are seat belted by troopers into the front passenger seat of the cruiser, unable to interfere with the driver because they are handcuffed behind the back. We practice a lot in the academy on how to put people inside of a vehicle. Most of the prisoner transport vans are used by big city departments like New Haven, Hartford, New Britain, and Waterbury. But some have seatbelts while others don't. One of the issues I think that's important for us to address is the issue of, of seatbelts in the, in the conveyance vans. And Senator Looney did propose a bill this past session that would have required police officers to provide medical assistance to anyone complaining of illness or injury at the time of their arrest. That bill passed the Senate but was never voted on in the House. Senator Looney telling me that it will be a priority for him next year. We're live outside the state capitol in Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.